In today's video, you're going to watch how to make smoke shredded chuck roast. Hey everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we are making smoked chuck roast. It is phenomenal. Tastes great just like it is right off the smoker, or it can be the base to a ton of great recipes. We'll talk about what some of those are in some upcoming videos. We are definitely out here today on the Pit Boss Pro Series Combo Smoker. It's got a pellet smoker on one side, gas grill and side burner on this side. We just fired it up. We're at 200 degrees to 225 degrees. Let me show you how we go ahead and prep this. Uh, we have here a just under a three pound boneless chuck roast. That's all we need. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let me show you how we prepare it. We made a really simple rub out of this. It's just equal parts of salt, pepper, and chili powder. We use chili powder because we wanna have a little bit of a smoky taste to it. One of the things we intend to do as, as um, one of the recipes we'll use this meat for later in the week is going to be making some delicious tacos on the flat top griddle. And because of that, I'm okay having a little bit of that chili flavor and we'll, we'll instill even a bit more of it when we cook it there. So really simple. Let's just go ahead and start by getting a nice dusting of our rub over this whole thing. You just wanna pat this in a little bit so it sticks to the meat. I'm gonna do something a little odd here. I'm gonna take this and put it underneath here. I'm gonna use that to catch any of my drippings off of here. You definitely wanna make sure you get the sides here too, so be sure to get it all around those sides. Okay, pat this whole guy down, and there we have delicious looking roast. All right, with our rub on here, we're just gonna go ahead and put this on the smoker. And I like to do it right on one of these little grates. It makes it real nice and easy to take it on or off, flip it over, move it around, really makes it a little bit more maneuverable. I'm gonna put this on the top rack and I am gonna go ahead and probe it because what I wanna do is I wanna cook this until I'm at about 160 to 165 degrees. Then I'm gonna actually put it in a pan. I'm gonna braise it until it's just over 200 degrees and it'll just be fork tender and fall apart. I'm just gonna put this in one of the thicker parts here at a nice little angle. That should be good. Let's go ahead and get this guy right on in here. So we have that on there. I have the temperature again in the smoker set at 225 degrees. Uh, I have the probe in the meat. The meat's only at 51 degrees right now, so it's definitely gonna take a while here. We wanna cook it until we get an internal temperature of 165. And that's important because once it gets to 165, I'll show you what we'll do next. We're gonna put it in a pan with some onions and beef stock, I'm gonna seal that up with foil, and we're gonna braise it the rest of the way. That's what makes it just fall apart fork tender. Now, a couple of interesting things here, and I'll show you this in a little while. I'm gonna come check on this every 30 minutes to an hour or so, see how the temperature is progressing. You also wanna have just a little bit of a liquid that you can spritz onto the actual meat. I wanna have a bark, but I, I wanna make sure it doesn't get so dry on the outside, it starts to fall apart. So by spritzing it every so often, you wet that um, seasoning that we put on there, and then as it dries, it kind of hardens a little bit. So that's definitely something we'll be doing. Um, don't, don't overthink this. If you have beef stock, that's great. You can spritz it with some beef stock. I use a little spray bottle, you know, and buy it at the dollar store and spritz them. Um, real easy to do. Heck, I'll put a link to one down on Amazon. If you're a Prime member, they're, you know, buck or something. All right, we'll come back and check on this in a little bit. All right, our boneless smoked chuck roast is sitting at 167 degrees. The next step now is just to go ahead and braise this. I'm just using one of these little disposable pans. I love these things. I wash them and reuse them a couple of times, but they're great for this kind of thing. I put a couple of uh, crushed up garlic cloves in there. We're also gonna make some um, beef bouillon. I actually didn't have beef broth. You normally buy the little one quart carton of those, so I have a couple of bouillon cubes, and I'm boiling some water in there. We'll use that in a minute. And we're just gonna put in a bed of onions. We're just gonna chop them up nice and um, large and we're just gonna drop them right in that pan. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Now all I'm doing is breaking this up into a nice little single layer here. Uh, and I wanna cover the whole bottom of the pan. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to get away with just one. I'm gonna just kind of mix this around because I had all the garlic on one side there. 
I don't know if you ever use these bouillon cubes, probably have, and most people have, but I find it easiest to put just a little bit of water in there, break them up while you can still sort of see and get to the very bottom of this. Use a fork and smush it down. Make sure that there's no large chunks before I start adding the rest of the liquid here. And then I just add the liquid. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and open this up and pull our thermometer out of here. And we're just gonna go ahead and pick up our chuck roast. Now you'll notice there's gonna be some liquid on the top of it. Do your best to keep that in here. just a matter of putting our braising liquid on here. Two and a half to three cups of that beef broth in there. Just enough to cover the bottom, you see that? Because we're gonna seal this up and let this braise and do its thing here. probe back into this meat. You notice I'm putting this low because I want the foil to close over this whole thing. I want to seal this up now. I'm just going to place this right back in here. I'm going to do it on the top rack again. All right, so we've got that staying at 225 degrees. We've sealed it up, sliced onions, a little garlic on the bottom, poured in some beef broth, and we're now gonna cook it until we get an internal temperature of about 203 to 208. Shoot for 205. If you're five degrees either side of it, you're gonna be just fine. Because it's covered, because it's braising, if you went a little further, you're still gonna be okay. It's gonna be unbelievably fork tender. That's probably gonna stay in there a few more hours at this stage. We'll be back to show you what it looks like in just a while. All right, so we've got an internal temperature of about 209 degrees. I went ahead and turned off the grill and I just let this sit in here. You could also put this in a cooler or something, but given we're braising it, it's gonna be just fine like this. So let's go ahead and let's cool down a bit here. Pop it right to here. Just enough to get my probe out and then I'm gonna move it aside so we can unveil it here. So the beauty of this is this is gonna be unbelievably tender. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll, uh, we'll show you what it's like here. When I talked about just fork tender, this is what I meant. Look at that. That is just delicious looking. And when it's just fork tender like that, hmm. It really is good. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe on how to make shredded smoked chuck roast. And again, this is a great base. It's good as a meal just like this. Make it in a sandwich, shred the pork, um, I almost said shred the pork, shred the beef and put it on little King's Hawaiian rolls as sliders. Have it as um, garlic with horseradish and beef on, on a garlic bread. That's another delicious sandwich. We're also gonna make delicious tacos on the flat top grill with it. Stay tuned for a future video where we do that. Safe and happy grilling, y'all.